Antifa member John Colin Hacker has finally uh, been charged with criminal robbery after he violently attacked journalist Andy Ngo in 2019. No, editor for the Post Millennial and author of Unmasked. Joining me now, welcome back, Andy. Uh, now, you said you hope this indictment is a signal of a change in Portland's prosecutor's office and, and progressive extremists have gotten away with this kind of violence for far too long. What do you think, why do you think government is so slow to bring left-wingers and these extremists to justice? Mm. Well, there's a saying that justice delayed is justice denied, and that's how I've been feeling for more than two and a half years. So when I was called to um, testify at the grand jury, I was quite shocked because, uh, as you can imagine, being a victim of multiple assaults going back years now, dozens of death threats, all of which, you know, there's a, there's a pile of police reports that are made to the Portland police. And uh, until last week, uh, none of it was ever acted upon by the district attorney. So I really welcome this change. Um, I don't really know. I, I, I can't even begin to imagine what's going on in, in that office. Um, you know, part of me um, would hope that maybe they're just catching up on a backlog. We don't know, but uh, uh, all district attorney offices are, are highly politicized. But um, I, uh, I, I, um, I don't want to comment too much. You know, I just want to have confidence that the rule of law be, will be carried out in Portland. Yeah, uh, I, I can I, I can comment a little bit maybe for you, Mr. No, because what's going on is left wingers who are prosecuting. Uh, either real or perceived crimes that are politically motivated uh, against the right, against the political right, but against the left, they let them go. Because there's a predicate in this country by a lot of these crooked DAs funded by George Soros that if you're a left winger, you get to uh, break the law with impunity. And that, that, that can't stand for too long. Uh, meanwhile, celebrity critical race theory advocate Ibrahim X. Kendi backtracking after he tweeted out a story about how white college applicants identify themselves as people of color so they can get better treatment and admissions. Critics said he undermined his whole life's work in one tweet. If America is a racist country, Andy, then, and, and white privilege rules the day, then why are so many white kids pulling a Senator Elizabeth Warren and falsely claiming minority status? I think you'll notice with a lot of these uh, self-made celebrity uh, left-wing ideologues like Kendi and the various BLM co-founders is that they don't actually willing, they're not willing to engage with critics like in terms of a, a debate in an academic setting. And I would say Kendi is no different than any of the others. Uh, when he was exposed as uh, tweeting out something that undermined um, his entire um, ideology, he just deleted it and has been blocking people who tweeted out, out screenshots of it. I, I think, it, you know, that that's beneath the, um, you would expect more from an academic professor, but many of these far left uh, <laughs> identitarian ideologues are, are not professional. They're not good academics. And yep. when one press, um, you know, they, they just go back to calling everybody, uh, any of their critics racist. Yeah, calling Mr. Kendi an academic, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's hilarious. The man, the man really, as his tweet and delete proved, he's not really that smart. Meanwhile, the Lincoln Project has taken credit for this tiki torch stunt pulled on Virginia gubernatorial candidate Glenn Youngkin's bus tour. If this kind of lie was told to hurt a socialist candidate, the press would be outraged. Doesn't the lack of condemnation and coverage from the press about this Lincoln Project stunt further undermine the so-called press and their credibility? Because you're a guy who's an actual journalist who believes in actually reporting truth. Don't they undermine their own credibility when they try to cover for left-wing extremists like these, the Lincoln Project? Yeah, one can only imagine the um, convulsions that the entire media apparatus would have if a right-wing group or conservative group carried out, uh, a group or individual carried out some type of hoax like this. Um, if you think back to the past few years, these politically motivated hoaxes have been carried out almost entirely by people on the left, Justice Smollett, um, Lincoln Project, and other Democrat Party operatives. Uh, 
the press is kind of just moving on from it really quickly now, and understandably because they were made a fool. Uh, they helped amplify uh, uh, disinformation, uh, uh, a fraud, essentially, and uh, they're made now to you know swallow the the tweets that they deleted, but people have screenshotted it all. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, that's that's why I think that what you do is such a danger to these folks in the establishment press. You, you make them all look silly because you actually do the job that they are unwilling to do. Andy, no, thank you very much, man. Appreciate the time.